Also, just like, just a, uh, a story I'd like to share. Uh, so, <laughs> this, this is the story of how much like being a being a freaking weeb has ruined my life. Uh, <laughs> um, basically, yesterday I was watching this uh, this movie. It's called Yesterday. Uh, it's it's this this like uh, it's it's the story of, of a dude who like is is a, is a musician. He's like a, a big fan of the Beatles. And then, oh, that thing! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That one. It was big like a few months. Yeah, it's big a few months back. I never got to watch it uh, until now. So, like the the premise is he's a huge fan of the Beatles. He's a musician, and then like all of a sudden there's like this worldwide blackout that like causes like certain things uh to like drop out of existence like he he gets like uh like basically transported it's, into this alternate reality it's a it's like a mandela effect kind of thing yeah he, he gets transported into this alternate reality where the beatles doesn't like exist anymore so like he, Actually, it's, let me, it's, let me it's, look it's, that up Was, did i say that right it was mandela effect <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. so like uh, he gets trans transported to this alternate reality where the Beatles aren't a thing anymore. Oh yeah. So it's it's up to him to like, uh, like basically revive their music uh, and get it out into the world again. So I was like the entire the entire thing me a weeb, like watching the thing. <laughs> as soon as he got hit by a bus, this, I know where it's going. I was wondering. Is this an isekai? God damn it, here we go again with the fucking this is, is this an isekai? <laughs> <laughs> this is the entire time I was watching I was I was so bothered I couldn't help but think, is this an isekai? This is definitely a western isekai. Like instead of like because because the characters okay, the characters are are British, so like they don't have like as many I guess they don't have as many like trucks in like suburban uh, UK or London or whatever. But like so the equivalent I of I mean there would be because like if you have like yeah, FedEx I guess so. or you yeah I guess so but then, but then like so I guess the, the British equivalent of getting hit by truck kun is bus kun <laughs> so like, you're just biking around uh, I guess like Liverpool or whatever like minding your own business and then all of a sudden it's bus kun he's out the isekai you <laughs> like it transports in, you into a world where the Beatles and coke doesn't exist so it's always, it's always like fine. It's like really amusing to me to find like, like, uh, like tropes we would normally find in like Japanese media and Western stuff as well. Oh yeah. Because. Uh... So yeah, yeah, there you go, folks. If you're if you're a weeb and you were interested in watching uh, yesterday, if you're interested in isekai. Uh, yeah, watch definitely watch yesterday. And if you like the Beatles, and you... oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying this, but if you like the Beatles and you like isekai anime. <laughs> Watch yesterday. It's good. And there you go. That's that's the that's the story of how how far how deep into uh, this 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 culture I am. Unfortunately, can't help but view everything through this through this lens. Okay. So, what uh, what do we have here? Uh, what do we got? Oh, utility potions or spells. Oh, what, what, why did I say utility potion? Uh, you did the spell. Um, what are the basics of utility spells and their value in the lawmage profession? I'm guessing this is like to learn Britlin or de I think it's like a debuff thing or something. No, like I that. think it's one of those like overworld spells, maybe. Oh, yeah, probably. Uh, let's take it. Very well, proceed to West Wing 2. Sure. Ah, welcome everyone. Hey. I am happy to see that you all made it through the basic classes. It's a good thing no one got seriously injured this year. I was I was suffering from internal bleeding. <laughs> At least like a dozen times now. Now let us begin. Utility spells are basically spells valued for its effects rather than its th the damage it can deal. Oh, so maybe it is a debuff thing. Yeah. Oh, it is brittle Yeah, go. look at that. Told you. Did we uh, learn and heal yet? We did. We, we did. learned it illegally. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. For example, in spellcasting basics, of some some of you chose to learn and heal brittle instead of a uh, damage dealing spell. 
Perhaps you thought it'd be best to learn a spell that could sustain you or weaken the enemy. Or maybe you thought some monsters should be resistant to ele elemental damage spell offered to you. That is precisely the value of utility spells. He, he, this, this boy loves his utility spells so much his eyes opened. <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh, utility spells! They may not deal much damage, but they can help you win in ways other than brute force. What? <laughs> Nobody told me that! <laughs> I knew you have Britlin, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I just love to punch shit! Uh, oh, but it's not all. These spells can also help access paths, yeah? Or solve problems in your mission th on your, or your day to day life. Math problems. <laughs> For example, 2 plus 2 equals. Four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tw twelve times twelve. Equals. Britlin. Britlin. <laughs> Britlin is my city. <laughs> <laughs> the spell Ooh, this is new. Magios increases oh, an ally's magic attack. It's a buff spell. <laughs> it is buff spell. It makes you strong like President Putin. <laughs> It gives you strength to fight bears in <laughs> Russian cold. In the Siberian winter. <laughs> this allows us to deal more damage than usual with our spells. Oh no. If you are buffed with Magios, then you can cast a spell on a broken opponent to make sure you deal massive damage. <laughs> and Next sleep. one is in sleep. This spell puts your opponents to sleep. They cannot act in such state until they wake up or take damage. Okay. Can I cast it on my spell on myself so I can take a nap, please? <laughs> can I cast it on myself so I can overcome my insomnia <laughs> and my social jet lag? <laughs> this spell can be used strategically to disable supporting opponents while you focus on key targets. Uh, TIL, by the way. Um, social jet lag is the term for when your sleeping habits don't coincide with your social responsibilities and it's an actual term used by sleep experts yeah what, what, uh, what's an example of that so like if i like if you constantly sleep at like 4 a.m but your job calls you to like be at work at like nine. Oh yeah that's so bad. that's social jet lag yeah, that's, that's bad yep uh lastly the spell claritos the spell uses uh cures three states rage confusion and fascination so it's like <laughs> Yeah. Oh no no it, it 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 clears up like mental like um, right, yeah. ailments. Yeah, so rage, fascination, and confusion. That's berserk I, charm and confusion. I, professor, can I can I help with my depression? <laughs> <laughs> It's it's that. Uh, this is the kind of spell that we need in real life. Oh yeah. It's it's that blonde dude in the left. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Cure my depression, please. <laughs> These spells are trickier to learn than the the ones in spellcasting basics. Hence, you cannot learn them right away. Instead, I will allow you to pick a, book, a spell book and to study in your free time. Oh, come on. I'm confident you will be able to learn the spells with enough time and, and effort. we got homework. Go on then, I will give you a minute to decide which spell you want to learn. Hmm. Okay, your minute is up. <laughs> okay, minute up. Give give me give me your life. <laughs> um do we wanna buff, buff, sleep, or cure ailment? Um I think the more like all purpose one should be buffing magic. So. Yeah, I guess. We all, that's always because we thing. all know that um, inflicting stats ailments on bosses doesn't work. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It does the not work. the number one rule of uh, of uh, JRPGs or JRPG type uh, things. They are immune to everything. Does so. anyone have their spell books very well? Now I can conclude this quest. Yeah, they they like ha have hyper immunity to all diseases. On that note, I'm actually, like, for the viewers out there, I'm playing uh, Pokemon Masters currently. And uh, the main, like, annoyance that people have been talking about is, like, uh, with the raid bosses. Like, basically, those, uh, 
like like every like every single move that like inflicts a status ailment is like completely useless because all the raid bosses are immune to status ailments. So like that's like half of the roster like rendered null and void. So like I I find I've like realized how much of an annoyance that is in 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 JRPGs. In yeah, I, I think it's like one of those things that need to be thought out. Yeah. Like. Because like you learn all these mechanics, but then you get to this thing, and then it blocks you from that. Yeah. Right. And you. I mean, it's it's good that if if they have like, uh, varying resistances, like this thing is resistant to that, this thing is resistant to that. Yeah, but yeah. like, if a boss is resistant to all a uh, like status ailments, it's kind of like it's it's a bad limiting. Time. Yeah. It's and it's just like. Um, it doesn't really. You've learned you, like, a lot of these how to like take advantage of yeah, these. Yeah, it doesn't, give you, it doesn't really stuff. give you like any creative uh, freedom to like decide your own strategy and stuff. Hello, like everybody. That. My name is Markiplier. It's really annoying. Thanks, Markiplier. Thank you. Hello. I don't have missions for you yet, my dear. Why don't you go to the library and read some books in the meantime? Do we have any uh, social links? Uh, I think we've exhausted the social links do we, for do we do gin? for this demo. What's up here? Hello, Neko. Hello, Kit Kit. Statue emits a faint magical energy. You need to turn around and like moves. <laughs> it's the statue of Mama Mary. <laughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, give me a lot of donuts in my face. <laughs> Ah, oh, is this uh, one of those paintings that talk? Holy shit! It Ooh! Be be oh, what? 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 Ooh! Oh! Okay! Okay! That's, that's, that's a very good RPG intuition, Chad boy! Yeah! It is a secret of mana. <laughs> <laughs> it is locked, okay. If you go right into the. This, um. Put your ear right into this. Uh, door, you could hear. You could hear. Crazy train. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just imagine Headmaster Osborne just like self karaoke in this in this room. <laughs> and like if you try to open the door, uh, he's he's not there. So like he's using the the magical karaoke machine. Yeah. This is a holographic microphone. Jamming out with holographic Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> oh wait, shit. That's his that's his life achievement. Just like being able to make like a like like uh, s s someone an Ozzy Osbourne familiar. <laughs> he has bat wings, of course. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> and then he eats a bat's. Didn't Ozzy eat a bat's head off or something like live? Yeah, on stage? yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. Uh. I don't remember if it was like a fake or anything, but he did. Yeah. Um, is everyone here? Whatever. We will be starting this class regardless of the attendance. Today you'll be learning about weapons used in the largest region of Magus Guard, the Fallheart region. I know there's no need for me to explain the region itself. After all, many of you came from Fallheart, myself included. That will explain anyway for the benefit of those who are ignorant about Magus Guard's geography. As most of you know, Magus Gaia is flat. <laughs> it is not round. <laughs> oh god, he's a flat earther. He's a As flat, he's know, a flat Gaia -er. <laughs> As most of you know, Fallheart is divided into the northern province and southern province. Northern Fallheart is where all, most of the farmers live. It is the countryside with vast fields for planting grain and grazing cattle. Our state slogan is Welcome to the rice fields! It's, it's got Frank's face on the, <laughs> on like the, the welcome tarp. Southern Farhood, on the other hand, is filled with lush forests where most tribes live. They are responsible for supplying us with lumber, forest products. Considering that Farhood contains both farming and forestry sectors, it is practically the backbone of Magus Gaia. Magus Gaia is not round, it is a, a T-Rex. <laughs> put, put up that... Oh wait, no, I think, I don't, is it T-Rex or was it a Velociraptor? I don't know, just put up that, put, it, put, put it, up the, insert the picture. Uh, however, living in Fallheart is not easy. Uh, vast tracts of land come with a sizable population of magical creatures. 
Sometimes villages in Fallout get attacked or ri uh, by hordes of monsters. That's too much for them to handle. They request support from law mages. That's where we come in. However, they eventually realize that they cannot rely too much on law mages, especially since they had to pay a law mage for his services. They had to learn how to defend themselves, so they took their rusty swords and farming tools and turned them into fine weapons. The southerners are excellent with swords, in fact, they have a long-standing tradition of t teaching swordplay to children at an early age. Over time, they think of how they improve their swords, that is, until they invented the blade, which we now call the Falhurt Blade. Insert clip of advanced blade straining from Gamer Poop. <laughs> Oh, who just leveled up? <laughs> <laughs> Take a step back. And to the right, to, to the, the right. Left. <laughs> to the left, left. to the left. left. Now twirl, twirl, honey, twirl. Twirl, twirl honey, twirl. twirl. Sky Sky shuffle. Southern Fallhurt is all, uh, known for its lumberjacks. These people are born fighters. They can cut monsters as well as they can cut trees. And so I present to you the Tribal Axe. Designed as... Inspired by various tribes in Fallhurt, it is the weapon of choice when navigating through forests. Moving on to northern Fallhurst, the farmers typo. in the north are more cautious and less brutal when it comes to fighting, but that doesn't mean they're less effective. Ooh, spears. Yes. The militia spear pierces through monster's flesh with ease. It also offers a good amount of defense considering the length of the weapon. Ooh, a mace. The guard mace, on the other hand, takes care of monsters with shells and tough hides. Why bother stabbing him when you can knock him out with a mace? These weapons are approved for distribution by the Magisterium himself, uh, itself. You can be assured of the quality of a weapon's design. Oh my! To conclude, I'm giving you the recipe for these weapons. Feel free to craft them at your own leisure. Uh, leisure. Uh, with these weapons, you don't have to hesitate engaging with monsters. La 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 la! They teased a lot of like portrait characters that we don't we didn't see yet. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I we're gonna be releasing like, the full version. Yeah, full version. The uh, the blonde girl with the glasses and twin tails. Yeah, Genki girl. Yeah, Genki girl, and uh, that over enthusiastic uh, student that we made fun of in um <laughs> in the first in the first episodes. episodes. <laughs> the the guy who was way too enthusiastic was like oh. 